Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be separating gold from black sand using mercury. Um, right here we have one pound of black sand. It's completely dry and it's been classified to a minus 30 mesh. And first of all, before I get into the video, I want to let you know, let you guys know about safety. Um, first of all, I'm just going to say don't even try doing this at home. Um, that'll save about 10 minutes of safety talk. But basically, you don't want to do this in a non-ventilated area. I'm outside here. I'm away from people and pets and all that stuff. And I have everything contained. Um, like, everything that I use is marked, you know, poison or mercury or something like that. So, yeah, this stuff can kill you. So just don't do it at home. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to move, move this uh, black sand into this Coke bottle. And we're going to add some hydrochloric acid here. And that is going to clean off all the black sand which will allow the mercury to dissolve the gold. All right, now we're just going to add a bit of hydrochloric acid That should be enough. You don't need too much. So as you shake it up, you can actually feel it heating up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drain this off and then we're gonna rinse it with distilled water. We're gonna take some distilled water here. I'm just gonna pour it in there a little bit. And again, we're going to shake it up. And here we have a waste jug. This is just an empty milk jug. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there, pour off all the liquids. Basically, all we're doing is rinsing off this, this black sand. All right, we'll do that again. See the liquid's getting a little bit less brown. All right, so we rinsed it out about six or seven times here. The water isn't getting any cleaner, but that really doesn't matter. Most of the acid is out of there, and what we have to do now, is first of all, we need to contain our waste here. Just put a lid on it, set that off to the side. You want to make sure it's marked um, right down, you know, acid, poison. Okay, so here we have our clean black sand. We're going to add a little bit more water in there. And now we're going to add a little bit of mercury metal directly to this. Whenever you're working with mercury metal, make sure you're working over a some type of container, plastic. You don't want this stuff to hit the ground. Um, all right, so we're just going to add a little bit into here. Just a few drops. We're going to shake it up, the mercury is going to contact all the gold and it's going to suck it up. Alright, so I've been shaking for quite a while here. Um, an easier way to do this is to use a rock tumbler. You could put your black sand, your clean black sand and your mercury right in the rock tumbler and let it go for a couple hours. Uh, a lot of guys have good results with that, um, but this is the way we're doing it. We're going to dump it all right into a pan here. So we're going to do all of our panning in this consolidated little, this is my mercury bin here. So I'm going to fill up, the, fill this up with a little bit of water and then we're going to go ahead and just pan this out as we normally would um, until we get to the mercury and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm going to use some fresh water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this water right into our mercury waste because there may be a little bit of mercury still in there and the way to dispose of this is you bring it to your um, you label it, you mark, you know, mercury waste or whatever, and you bring it to your uh, local recycling center for hazardous chemicals. 
and that's how, how I'm going to dispose of this. All right, so pretty much we're just panning this black sand down. We don't have to worry about losing any gold, but we don't want to lose that mercury. We actually want to keep that mercury so we can extract the gold from it. The mercury now contains the gold. So we still have to pan it and get that mercury down to the bottom. All right, so I can now see the ball of mercury right there. At that point, we could stop and pan it, uh, bring it back like we're looking for gold. And there you can see the blob of mercury comes right out. All right, so that's what we need. We're going to move that over to this other pan. And notice I have some water in this pan. You always want to have water. Whenever you're moving mercury around, you always want to keep it underwater. And then there's still a little bit of mercury left in here. Let's pan that down and get it out of there. All right, here's the other ball of mercury here. Let's go ahead and bring that down and pour it off. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get this mercury strained out because uh, it contains gold and mercury. So if we strain it through a paper towel, most of the gold will stay on the top side of the paper towel and the rest of it will, the rest of the mercury will strain through the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll take a paper towel, dump it on there. Make sure we got it all. Okay, and we have all of our mercury here at the bottom, and we're just going to squeeze it through. We'll try to do it underwater here. We don't want that mercury going anywhere we don't want it to, so I always try to work underwater with it. All right. And I think all the liquid mercury is through. Okay. All right, so what we have left is some mercury and most of our gold. It's right in here. All right, it's not very much. It's only one pound of black sand but that's where we're gonna get our gold from. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna take this paper towel and just flip it over inside of another pan, different pan here, clean off all that gold amalgam. All right, and this rag is still gonna have some mercury on it, so put this with your waste materials that are going to the recycler. All right, make sure it's as clean as you can get it. You can see we have a nice little line of gold and mercury. So how do we get the gold out? Well, we gotta use some nasty chemicals. And this is the reason why you guys really don't wanna be doing this at home. Um, let's take it outside and let's add the nitric acid. This is how much uh, amalgam we have that we're gonna process with the nitric acid, just for comparison to see how much gold we get after we're done. So right here, I have my little workstation here. I'm on the other side of the house, away from all the neighbors and everything. Here I have my safety tub, just a gold pan here with some mercury gold amalgam in it. Here I have some nitric acid. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of nitric acid in there kind of like that, have it tilted down, all my gold's down here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get out of the way, let it go for about 10 minutes or so. We'll come back, once all the fumes are done, yeah, we'll go to the next step after that. All right, you see that brown smoke? You do not wanna breathe that, you'll die.
So it's been about 15 minutes. We only have a little bit here. And there's, you can see the reaction has stopped. And you can actually see the gold in there. Uh, I can't smell anything. Now there's actually a little bit of a reaction still going on. We'll let it go for a bit. Well, here we go again. I gotta grab some uh, copper to extract the mercury from my acid. Good morning. How you doing? That ought to do it. It's just a, I don't know, quarter inch piece of copper. So remember, this stuff is extremely toxic. It contains mercury and nitric acid. So what we want to do is we want to pour that off real carefully to a glass or plastic container. Next, we want to actually rinse this off with some distilled water. All right. I'm gonna pour that off and leave the gold in the pan. As you can see, it's not very much gold. This is only one pound of black sand, all right? You can see a couple flakes of gold in there and there's some black sands left over and stuff. That's what you can expect to get from about one pound of black sand. 16 ounces. Uh, I still have six pounds left, so I'm going to go ahead and process that stuff off camera. I'm just doing this one pound sample to show everyone what you can expect to get from about one pound. I'm going to rinse this again. This is just copper wire. Got it from Home Depot. You saw it. You saw the footage. We're going to bend it like this. And we're going to bend it again see how far we need to go about to there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna submerge this copper into this acid and mercury and what's gonna happen is that acid is gonna start eating away at that copper and it's gonna leave the mercury there you can see it's already turning well maybe you can't see it and we're gonna let that go for a while and we'll be able to take our mercury right off of there and it's not gonna be a lot of mercury at all um, you guys saw the small amount that I used, but it's better to extract it from the acid before we dump it into our our waste um, waste container. Remember, mark it, you know, mercury, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, neutralize with baking soda. So I'm actually going to take some baking soda and just pour it in there slowly, and that's going to neutralize the hydrochloric and nitric acid that's in here. So I'll do that. See that? It's killing that acid, neutralizing it. It's a little bit at a time. Let it go until it stops fizzing, then you can add a little bit more. So we'll do that as we go. Uh, don't put the lid on it either, because it'll explode. Just let it, let it steam off, and we'll come back in a minute. Yeah, you can see that copper's already getting coated with mercury there. If I pull it out, you'll be able to see You see that? That's actually a thin coat of mercury. And we'll just let it sit in there for a little while. In the meantime, I'm gonna pan this gold down here. You can see, I've got a little bit, just a couple flakes. And this gold is not pure. It's actually pretty dirty. So we can clean that up if we wanted to. But, let's see if I can get a better shot. Okay, up here, you can see, this is our small amount of gold that we got from one pound of black sand. Uh, I do have a couple more pounds to process. I just did this one pound as a, an example. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can extract this mercury off of this piece of copper. Let me get a different pan.
Okay, so this has been sitting for maybe five, ten minutes. Eh, about ten minutes. And as you can see right here, we have some mercury on the end of this. And we just take it over to our pan with water in it. And we just kind of squeeze it off of there. You can see a small amount of mercury coming off. Very small amount. Not much at all, but it's there. And you don't want to use this copper for anything other than extracting mercury. So make sure you put this in your your bag labeled mercury. That way it's, it's not accidentally used for something else. Yeah, there's not very much mercury at all. A couple little tiny beads in there, but other than that, yeah, that's how that's done. Okay, so when you're done with your nitric acid and water solution here, and there's probably still even a little bit of mercury in there, what we're going to do is we're going to add baking soda directly to that to neutralize that, and then we're going to dump it in with our, our waste here. So a little bit of baking soda at a time. Whoops, put a little bit too much in there. But you can see the reaction. It just neutralizes it instantly. We'll add a little bit more. Just keep adding till it stops fizzing. All right, here's our neutralized acid. We'll dump it right in here. So back to the gold here. Once we have it separated, we can just use our snuffer bottle, get it in there, and we're good to go. Now, there's not really, there's not enough gold here to weigh up. Probably about a dollar's worth of gold. Six pounds of black sands, probably about six bucks worth of gold. Who knows, maybe more. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to process all that down, and I'll show you guys the results of that. I'm not going to go through the whole process. You guys have already seen it, so... Okay, so after all that work, uh, the following six pounds, you can see we didn't get very much gold at all out of there. Um, I did the whole process correctly, and that is what I got. That is including um, the first pound plus the next five pounds. So, uh, yeah, it just goes to show you, it may be worth it to save your black sands. I always save them sometimes. You know, it also depends on how well you pan out your gold. Apparently I've been panning out really well. I've been getting most of that gold out, even the microscopic flower stuff. Um, I do go through my black sands, my concentrates, two or three times. I do it, you know, tablespoon by tablespoon. And you've seen the process. I have videos on that. Um, yeah, that's the process. And I hope you enjoyed the video. A quick shout out to Mike Bernie, another uh, major credit Patreon pay, uh, supporter. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. And thanks for everything you guys on the live streams as well. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Don't try it at home. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.